Right. Welcome to this uh, show and tell on VCV rack on a multi-touch screen running Windows 10. Let's get rid of the mouse. We're not going to need it. Uh, yeah, this is a multi-touch screen. I get to open up modules, change them, root them into themselves, all that good stuff. Deleting That's all I have to do on the keyboard. I I've set it up like this so that you can actually see my hands on the screen down here in the bottom left and um, did a screen capture because you know you just can't see what's happening when you just uh, photograph the uh, actual screen. It's nicer to have a screen capture that's more precise. Anyway, let's patch. Uh, I'm very new to VCV rack, uh, though I have been a long time stalker on, let's take the audio thing, on your rack, find that stuff fascinating. And anyway, now we're sending it to our uh, Reaper, which is running in the background, mixing my vocals, uh, and then sending it to uh, OBS, Open Broadcast Studio. Let's uh, set up something. Let's start with a VCO. You know, as you can see, it's nice to move things around. If you don't hit the knobs, you hit the background, and it kind of moves around. It's a bit annoying. I'm probably going to do that a couple of times. Anyway, let's. Um, sequence something that has opened the sequencer. Let's see 16 step sequencer. Let's, I like clicking on module and pressing control R for randomization, put that into the volts per octave. And uh, we're not gonna need that many steps, are we? I mean, who needs more than seven steps, apparently. Um, let's run the clock a little bit faster. Now let's start with a VCA. We need four of the kind. And let's end a ADSR. As you can see, it's quite easy to just open things up and go hog crazy. And that will control the VCA and the output of the saw there. Turn it up a bit and that should go in there. Uh, can turn it a bit up, can't we? Let's see if that's on the VCA. There you go. I'm gonna make another ADSR, click on it, control D, and have that there, but have that on this control D on the VCO. Or we can just take uh, another one of these, take the out in here, and these things in there, and uh, let's see, turn it up, of course, and then we should have, oh, see, running, hitting the background all the time on the module. Anyway, now we've got stereo sound, um, but what we need is some effects. Let's put some, I don't know. I don't know, I got the plateau reverb right there. And move that over there. Oh, there we go. Left in. Turn the wet up. And the out, we'll plug and put it over here. There. Yes, that plateau reverb is really nice. Uh, let's make them shorter. Anyway, click subscribe uh, if you want to watch me do more of these kinds of things with a multi-touch screen. It was kind of fun.